G'day everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So today I'm going to be starting a new multiplayer series against Old Crow Balthasaur playing the Line of Africa campaign, but this time we're going to be switching sides. Um, last time I played the Allies, so this game I'll be commanding the Germans. So what we've got to do, 50 turns, we've got to keep at least one unit on the board. Um, Sounds simple? It's not going to be. We're surrounded in every side. Um, when I played him as the Allies, it took me 29 turns to, well, eradicate his army effectively. So, got our work cut out for us. Let's see what happens. That's not looking good. Ouch. It's not like losing a yin on turn one, that's not the best start. <laughs> did, did you run into an ambush on turn one when you know that I've got something there? Why would you do that? Okay. Yeah, I know. Alright. So, 200 points. What we're, what I'm going to do, first off, one research I care about is infantry weapons. I won't get two chits in that. Can only afford one this turn, but I'll, I'll get that. If we beat him to it, that's until he gets the next level. That's basically how I've made turns where he won't be able to do any, well, I say any damage to my use, he'll be able to do damage, but it's not really worth it. Um, after that, uh, after I've got two in this, I don't care about the rest of the techs. I I've got the other one that actually matters, which is Porters. Um, when, when he was playing the, um, the Germans, I saw him invest in CNC. Useless. HQs aren't going to win this game. Industrial. Useless. I'm not going to have enough points to build stuff anyway, so why bother? Things like logistics tech as well, they're, they're useless. I can't do anything with them. The, the only way that Germany can win, as far as I'm aware, and I should be aware since I wrote the thing, we've got to keep him moving. The only way we keep him moving is by keep moving ourselves. You don't do that by investing in logistics tech. Um, the railroad, well, it goes from here to over here. If he's on one side or the other, well, great, but it's not going to go anywhere. Because ultimately, the um, the way's through the map. You go south through um, Portuguese East Africa, you get around him here, um, there's a couple of routes I like to run my units through. Um, if you can sort of control these mountains, you're able to sort of slide things behind him. I'm hoping to do that later. Let, let's see if he um, catches on to it. So, got a few things we can do straight up. Number one, good move I like to do is hitting this. There we go, turn one. Turn two, if the weather behaves, we should be able to grab it. He's also got a couple of units seating this one down. Now, when he played the Germans, turn one, got this guy out of here. Why would I do that? This thing's got four supply. Until it's down to one supply, it can move six. He, he's got these units there. They're, they're not going anywhere as long as this is here. As, as soon as I move this down here, these guys, they're just going to follow. So if I stay there for four turns, then I fall back here, and now I make him sit there for four turns to siege it down and then I evacuate to the next one that's eight turns I only got last 50 that that's where the um where you do the um you, you get the you burn the clock that that's the saying I'm trying to think of Ooh. so so I want to do here same deal we've got mountains He's not getting through the mountains very quickly. 
So as long as I still hold the positions, doesn't really matter if the um if the position's good or not. If he's there, he's there for four turns. Well, maybe not with this group. He did just push through a unit. The mountain got some nice defensive bonuses. We we sit in there as long as we keep in supply. We're going to do all right. And we've got a few units here as well. So, what I'm really trying to do... Each of these units, they, they move 6, or 7 if they're in good supply, but usually it's going to be 6. If I've got one unit, what I want to do is force him to worry about me going this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. Every direction. Because every direction, he's got to cover it with something in order to prevent me from just bursting out and capturing something. It, it is possible, well it's not possible when you've got mountains in the way, but if you've got decent terrain, you can just go around the, um, the allied armies. So I want that there. Now he knows I've got something here, he, he's going to probably defend this, and if he doesn't defend it, it's going to be because he's marching on there. Look, this thing's got five supplies. Four, three, two, one, zero. So he's not capturing this without a serious force. So I can leave that there. That that unit is pretty much worthless. But if it's five hexes away from his supply source until he gets an HQ, he's not doing anything with it. He, he's going to march up here. He might attack, but he won't do enough damage to actually worry me because I can just reinforce it next turn. They, these things are cheap. They cost like five points to reinforce. Yeah, you, you can sort of see me already. I'm trying to figure out what, what units I can get where. So I got this one. Well, th this swamp, worthless. I I'm probably not even going to put anything there until maybe right at the end of the game. Actually, that's a good idea. If I keep something there, it's surrounded by swamps. Love to be the guy having to try and dig that one out because there's no supply there whatsoever. Um... But ideally, I won't be fighting him there, because I'll be fighting him in his own territory and I can go around capturing things. But if I put this one here, that's supply 5. Next turn I can force march it again. Now, this one, it, it's at least 6 hexes away from, from his stuff, so he's never capturing this. Until he goes through here or through here. Well, I've already worked out this one's not going to be able to be captured by anything anytime soon. Portugal's army is useless, so I, I might as well move this one over. But I'd rather put that one there, because I can put this one here, and then I've got more more things I can hit with it. Because this can only move four, this one can move six. Got more options. Oh, where, where do I put this? Portugal doesn't have that many units, so what I'd like to do is keep him so he has to um, worry about... Okay, he's not in... Okay, he's got three, so if I do two and put in Pullman, I can't move that again. Okay, but now he thinks I'm attacking him, so he's going to be cautious about taking this. I don't think he's going to be able to get in there in turn one anyway. Then the next turn I'll try and swing that one into it and go on the march. I'm, I'm not sure how aggressive he's going to be here, because when, when I did it, I, I moved all my Portuguese up very quickly and just sort of stormed through, captured all of this so he wouldn't be able to then master and take it all later. Um, what I'm going to try and do, if this one's still available next turn, I'll drop this in here. That gives me the options to strike at any of these spots. I do that, that that's four, four units he's got tied at, well five, because this one as well. Portugal starts with 10. If 5 units are wasting their time garrisoning little things that aren't doing anything, that that's a threat to my southern border wiped out with, with one unit. Yes, I, I abuse the, um, the force march button. Um, don't feel sorry for it. It exists for a reason. That reason is for me to use it as much as possible. <laughs> yes, my units hate me after I do it. 
But they can deal with it. They know what they signed up for. Ooh. Eleven. Now there's an interesting idea. Can I actually get that in there? Well, that's eleven. Fourteen. Even with Zox, I should be able to get there. Um, what's supply on that going to be? Ooh, do I start doing these moves now? Hello. Well, that was dumb. That was really dumb, actually. Um... Okay, I can bring you forward. Pretty sure he starts with something there. Now I know for a fact I've got you paying attention to me. I'll put this here, and chances are if he... Um, fights that, he'll still be having to deal with that one. Um, he might even run into an ambush, that'd be pretty funny. Um, but yes, I'm going to be sending you forward as much as possible, because ultimately they've, they've got to do something. If they're just sitting around, then eventually he's going to be able to go and stomp them flat. I don't want that. Alright, I'm putting you on the mountains. He can try to dig that out. Won't be fun. Be fun for me. Uh, that's on a hill. So if I put you there... That, that artillery's not really helpful. So, like, I, I don't have any reason I'm ever going to use it for anything. Um. Ooh, now there's an idea. What I'm thinking is, turn one, turn two, turn three, he's not hitting Dar es Salaam with an amphib. I'll, I'll get an event eventually to drop an artillery there. Might as well do that. Artillery's good enough to prevent a um, amphib. But if I bring you forward, I've got options. What do I do with those options? I haven't decided yet. See how the game goes. I can't force march you. That is unfortunate. Ooh. Mm, can't, can't get discount unit yet. We'll try and get it next turn. Alright, well... Next turn I'm, I'm dumping a point in that and then I'm spamming as much inventory as possible. Um, and, and that's going to be my production plan for the rest of the game, is just spam out infantry. more I've got, more I can make him chase me around. I suppose you've got to get your supply from somewhere. Um, next couple of turns is going to be mud. By the time the mud clears, I should be able to build some stuff. So I'll put you there. That also means he has to keep units in this area, rather than just concentrating against this group. Eventually I'll be able to um, pull together a defensive line, probably on these two. Well, what I've found in previous times i played this, these two mountains can do a lot with them. And then I want, I want to keep an HQ here because that's a nice central position. I can sort of send units out from every direction. Alright, have I moved everyone? Uh, you're staying there. Same idea as, the, um, as this one. Supply's not very good there. As long as it sits there, 
he's got to siege it down. It's going to take four turns. Then I can sort of move backwards. So I'm going to have supply. He's probably not. And if he... I mean, he might move this down. But if he does, I, I might retreat straight through the middle of him. I have done that before. <laughs> it's, it works better than you'd think. Um, I really hope I can do that later this game, because I, I reckon it'll surprise him if I'm able to do it. Uh, let's dig you in. Trenches are plus two defensive bonus. Units this campaign. Their attacks like three and four. Plus two defensive bonus on that. In a campaign that has hardly any artillery. Yeah. It's quite worthwhile. Now something else I'm going to do. He's going to be on the lookout for goats and at some point, right? If I put it within two of Elberville, he gets a notification saying, Goatson, he's near Elberville. Um, I'd rather him not know that. But if Goatson sits in port, it's useless. So if I put it there, if he gets the plane in Belgium, which he might, can fly over here, he'll, he'll see it's not in port, but he won't know where it is. But he also won't know if it's near Elbertville or not. He might think I've moved it up here or something. And he moves his steamer up and I ambush him. And that's half the strength of his steamer gone. Alright. Um, I think that's everyone. Uh, your, your supply four. And if you come charging out of here to try and take Kigali, you'll get yourself an ambush. So I don't, I don't think that Kigali's going to fall, and then I can just pull you back and repair you. So, that was an oopsie, but I don't think it's going to be too dangerous. Hit the go button. Turn one. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that event. Now he's going to be looking for me. Hey, the mud! Hit early and usual too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, that means we will recover from that. That. Hey, let's go and get ambushed. <laughs> Move. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.